so we're headed out to go run some errands, some unexpected errands, because I went to go clean and descale my coffee pot. Um, you can always tell when it needs done because, you know, the water only comes out at a dribble. I have a K-cup machine any anyway. I think the descaling actually killed the machine because now it's not working at all. I'm sure it's just a clog, but because of the nature of the machine, it's like impossible to clean out the pipes when there's a clog. And or honestly, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to go buy a new one. If the husband wants to put it out on his workbench when he has time and fiddle with it, he can. But yeah, I'm going to go just buy a new one because I need some coffee. All right, it's gray as you can see and raining and my neighbor's tree here let's see behind me here we go it's in bloom uh, so yeah anyway let's go hit the road and run some errands we're still in the golden hour sort of ish so hopefully we can get it done and get back before the lunch rush and uh, yeah that's it for right now I'll be back I take I take oh sorry that's the windshield wipers I take some of that back it's like 45 minutes later than I thought it was. <laughs> it's already almost 11 o'clock. Where has the morning go? Oh wait, I know. Trying to descale and clean the coffee pot, which I think didn't make it better. I think I completely killed it and clogged it up. Oh, we have such hard water, it's so bad. All right, so yeah. It's gray out and wet. Some would say gloomy, but I actually like this kind of weather. Um, dang it. So, sorry about that. That's really annoying. It's like fingernails on a chalkboard. So we are going to go try to get the errands done before it gets any later in the day. Because like around 1 o'clock when everybody's trying to finish lunch and get back to work, it gets really crazy. And it's raining and the roads are wet and slippery and oily because we haven't had a lot of rain so it's gonna be extra insane so yeah I will bring you all with me and we'll be right back let's see if we can go find a new coffee pot yeah all right let's go The new coffee pot it's in the car and a few other things that I probably didn't need so now we will try to make our way over to the grocery store provided this guy in the Audi behind me actually gives me enough room to back up my car we'll see glad I have a backup camera
week's vlog, the saga of the coffee pot. <laughs> it just, oh yeah, yeah. So I got the new coffee pot up and running. I had my first cup of coffee out of it. I figured out how to set the auto on and off. I had to watch a YouTube video to figure out how to turn the power off. FYI, if you have or are buying a K-Cup machine 2.0 400 series, push and hold the power button. You have to hold it. Put your Press your finger on there and keep it there for the machine to go off. Anyway, the version of it that I bought did not come with the water filter for the inside of the tank because they don't. They have it, but they don't come with. I don't understand that makes no sense to me. Hey everybody. <sighs> I'm trying hard these days not to do the, all the vlogging in the car, but it's just convenient when I'm in the car. <laughs> I uh, spent the morning taking care of some financial stuff for my husband and um, finishing a journal page and chatting with a friend. I got the vlog for last week edited today and loaded to YouTube. Uh, it is Tuesday, February. Uh, I know it's Tuesday, February 27th maybe? I think because I think tomorrow's the last day of February. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, February 28th, I think, the last day of the month. I have spent the morning doing my daily writing and posting that I usually do in the mornings on social media. Yeah, my hair is wet again. At least we're not in the car. <laughs> um, I haven't actually done any art today, not yet anyway. I've been taking care of myself, eating a good breakfast, having my morning coffee, getting on the treadmill. You know, it's whether it takes up your morning to take care of yourself or you choose to get up early so it doesn't interfere with other things you have to do, like if you have a day job, it's really important you take care of yourself. And I'm not just saying that to you guys, I'm saying it to myself. I'm not, we're not getting any younger, so you know. So I did get on the treadmill today. I forgot my Fitbit, but you know, I did it. Um, I have to run out and go run a couple of errands. Nothing like super earth shattering, just normal stuff like the usual uh, getting the mayo. <sighs> yeah, um, I have to do laundry again. For two people, there's only two people in the house. We sure do make a whole lot of trash and a whole lot of dirty laundry. Are we just really clean people or really dirty people? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I had to rewrite my um, weekly to-do list because the old one, there's a quick flash for you if anybody wants to pause and see what I'm going to be up to art-wise art or art-business-wise. Um, the old one had like too many scratch out and highlight marks on it and notations and you know when it gets to that point and I can't make heads or tails of it, it's time to write a new list. And it's not like I have a shortage of paper in this room. Hello, have you seen my art room? There's paper everywhere. <laughs> Um, I have to catch up on some daily drawings and finish up February drawings um, since today's the last day. I also have been working on, I don't know, let's see, can I grab this? So I don't remember now if I showed this before, I might have. So I did this sheet on some drawing paper not long ago um, with some sketches and journaling about an evening out that we had. And I'm going to do another one of these sheets. And I think after I have a collection of them, they're going to become a scanned collection of downloads on my Etsy shop. Um, I really like the look of them. And if you guys want, we may do a tutorial on this too. Um, Y'all let me know in the comments. So we did another evening out where I took a bunch of random, not super exciting pictures, just ordinary stuff. And so, and that's what that's about. So uh, I'm going to draw those up. We're going to another event this weekend. Um, that I'm going to do the same thing for and so I'll have those pictures coming up and um, I think that's it for the moment we're in the midst of doing some financial rearranging around here which means we have to deal with banks which is just never fun <laughs> it's just never fun 
And they ask the dumbest questions, you know, especially when they have their file right in front of you. It's like when you go to the doctor and they ask you stupid questions and you're like, did you not look at my file before I came in? Y'all know what I mean without getting too personal into too much detail. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, so we're, we're dealing with that this week, which is a bit aggravating. So anyway, so I have lots of stuff coming up. And if you guys want to see a tutorial on this, um, or if you think the papers as background or download images are a good idea, let me know. Um, I am constantly thinking of or working on new ideas for the new sticker set download uh, sticker sets that I have for sale right now. There are four designs for sale in the Etsy shop. I'm working on some more. Each one of them takes a long kind of while, a few hours to format and cut and fix and you know, then if I put the paper in the cutter the right way, then we're good to go. Put it in the wrong way, then I'm swearing up a storm. Anyway, that's my life this week. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to go run my errands and have some lunch. I'll be back. back. Giant packet of financial paperwork <clears throat> that we've already filled out. So it's a duplicate because, you know, let's just waste a tree. <laughs> it's a pet peeve of mine. Sorry. My hallway. Um, so I'm back finally and I got what I needed at Staples. I needed a scarf to go at a with an outfit I'm wearing to a business thing this weekend and there's a Ross next door to Staples so and then I got some ink for my printer and the husband's printer and then whiteout because my whiteout things like all exploded and died over the weekend. Um, I got some more Uniball Signo bold gel pens. I got this white and metallic pack and they didn't have that style of their gel pen in the broad nib in black but they had these clickable ones so I need I needed both because all my all my I keep trying to go use them and they're all dried up so anyway all right so that's it for the moment I really need to eat lunch now and I'll be right back hey guys it is raining I don't think I need these today <laughs> put them away in my bag. It is, what day is it? Thursday, March 1st. Okay, so yay. Um, I am headed out to run errands, as you can see, because we're in the car again. It is raining outside and cold, colder than normal in ca most of California. Um, it's all, the rain is all good. We need the rain, so I'm not complaining. Um, I need to go out and run some errands. Sorry, that's the windshield wipers. Um, and I have an appointment to get my hair done and have the, you know, the white sparkliness that's coming out of my hair covered up. <laughs> so there's no point in doing anything with it because she's just going to mess with it anyway. So it's up in a, you know, messy thing. Um, it's not wet though. Hey! <laughs> a rule or something. So I came to the mall looking for a storage solution for my daily drawing stuff only to discover and realize that I probably have something sitting in the back of my car that'll work. Oops. I guess it's time to go run the rest of my errands and go home so I can fix that up. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Friday, March 2nd. Really trying hard to remember the day and date. Anyway, um, it's Friday, March 2nd. It's family dinner and game night. Um, we are going to have a crazy snack te um, taste test thing um, from Daiso. I don't know if you remember. Um, I don't remember now if it was last week or the week before where my husband and I went to the mall to walk around because we didn't want to, you know, be at home. We wanted to do something. And uh, we, of course, I picked a mall that had a Daiso. Of course I did. And while I was looking at stationery, I made the mistake of leaving him in the snack aisle and he came home with some crazy snack foods. So we're gonna be tasting those with the kids later tonight. I think one of them is sardine flavored crackers. So I don't know what he picked, but I have a feeling it was really weird. That's what I get for leaving him alone in the Asian food aisle. Um, anyway, so we're gonna do that tonight. I've spent the morning literally 
uh, working on the computer and in between things, saving or loading, trying to get loads of laundry in the washing machine, <laughs> I've updated the website, um, sent out an email newsletter, updated some things on Etsy, did all my daily postings on social media that I needed to do today, arranged for somebody to do some things for me over the weekend because I'm going to be um, unavailable. Um, it's just, I, I was like, I looked up at the clock and it was already after one o'clock and I hadn't had lunch yet. So yeah, I just got done with lunch, did the dishes, uh, because that wasn't done yet either. Cause you know, and so yeah, I'm out here in my dining room. Um, so I'm going to put my sweatshirt on. I need to empty all the household garbage cans, not fun stuff, right? Um, somebody's got to do it, so I'm going to do that and try to get some more chores done. Of course, um, get the mail. I need something to do, so I'm going to go get the mail. I may even walk over because I need to get steps in. We'll see. Um, tomorrow we are headed to Monterey, California. I'm going to bring y'all with me. We're going to a big fancy work party for my husband's employer. They rented out all of Monterey Bay Aquarium. Yeah, so anyway, and if you've never been to Monterey Bay Aquarium and you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link their website in the description below. And uh, yeah, so that ought to be a lot of fun and we're spending the night there because it's kind of quite a ways from home. So we'll be over there. And by the time you all see this, it's going to be done and gone. And so it doesn't matter that I'm telling you where I'm going. Um, I'm going to try to get some artwork done before we leave though. I have things I need to do tonight. I need to catch up on some drawings. I need to catch up my traveler's notebook for my creative year. If you don't know what that is, it's a Facebook group. The videos are here on YouTube. Everything else is over on Facebook. The link is in the description. Um, yeah, there's stuff to do. I did manage to straighten up my art table, which was a disaster. I'll put a like link in here somewhere. It was a hot mess. And uh, yeah, it's just been one of those weeks where, you know, I'm having trouble getting ahead of the game. I, I'm barely staying caught up. So anyway, all right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to do that fun thing, like take out the trash. I'll be back. I was getting ready to walk over to get the mail and now I'm not sure if I should or not. It's raining. Maybe I should go back inside and get my raincoat just in case. That's probably a good idea. Okay. So now we're going to go over, hopefully it doesn't do more raining than it is right now on the way back. And if it does, hopefully there's not too much mail, but I need to get some steps in. If you give me any excuse, I'll just drive because I'm lazy at, at heart, but it's really not good for me. I need to walk. All right, let's go.
so I gotta, which way do I take this? It has to go Polly's is No, darn it. No, we'll just hold on to it. This doesn't really taste like much. This doesn't have much flavor either. It just smells like oil. Okay, well, let everyone at least try one. Don't you could leave, leave some for other people. You see this one? Yeah. I'm trying to use it. Yeah. It doesn't taste like it. much, but I don't like it. It like tastes like old oil. I started with the best one. You said that last time too. Fried saltiness rice crisp rice, rice crackers. Yeah. Yeah, rice crackers, pooch. This is crispy and crunchy rice cracker. So much flavor. It looks like a piece of mm. popcorn. No. This one's Taking not bad. This, this one's better than that one. That one's not too good. I don't like that one. What's this? Ring potato snack. Salty taste. This is the one that looks like octopus rings or something. Those taste good. They're not bad. This one and this one are bad. Look, and he's eating like... This doesn't have much fun. I can't stand. Those are gross. Oh, oh, really? I'm I don't even want to smell it. I wouldn't. I knew you opened this one from the sideways. Ring potatoes. This looks like Oh, it smells orange. like something died in the bag. We all ate it, Mom. Oh, that's just so bad. Those aren't bad. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like oh. pasta. And suddenly I'm ready for my free bagel or donut. Oh, that's nasty. This is good. Also, last time I leave you alone in the Daiso snack aisle. Oh. So we are in the car on the way to Monterey, California, near the coast for a work thing for my husband's work, lamb research. They make, and this is the only thing about his work I know, they make capital semiconductor equipment. Past that, I don't know what they do. Um, and I'm not going to even try and explain it because I sound like an idiot when I try. Um, but we're in, right? Right. Right? Okay. Right, right. So we're in the car, headed to the coast, and of course it's decided to rain. And there are definite like cloud formations or storms or something up ahead. That's okay, we don't mind. So we're headed out a little early so we can walk around and have lunch and grab a bite to eat. Yeah, we'll yeah. see what we can find and bring you all along with us. And we're going to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Yeah, his company rented out the entire Monterey Bay Aquarium. Yep. So the, for those of you who know what that is, um, you'll be going, oh my God. And for those that don't, I'll link their description, their website in the description. You can and Google you can it. check it out, check it out. You can Google them, but it's a really cool place right on the ocean. So yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. All right, we'll be back. I don't know if we're going to see any more or not. If we do, I'll try to get the phone out. I wasn't quite quick, quick enough and you know, not with it enough, but we are driving through Morgan Hill, California. It is about just before noon on Saturday, March 3rd, and there was snow on the ground. Small I know patch. you don't believe me because there's like none right now, but there was snow, and I think because we were under an overpass and it was still, you know, hadn't melted yet, there was snow on the ground. I'm in, I'm in the Santa Clara County, like, this doesn't happen often. Nope. It's very rare. It doesn't generally get cold enough for us to have snow. And of course, everybody had to slow down and take a look at it because, you know. That must have been the object that was on the road. Maybe snow. it was the object that Waze said was on the road, right. snow. Snow. So anyway, if we find any more, I'll try to be quicker with the camera, but um, yeah, I, I screwed up. So anyway. Oh, wow.
up in the Harley Davidson store in Monterey. Cindy, this shot's for you. This is what they've got sitting in their window. I know it's not purple, but you know. Hey there, I'm the king of rock and roll, and I have some words of wisdom to bring you much happiness. As you travel through this life, remember this, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Go ahead, put in more coins and let the king tell you more. Your fortune is clear as a bell. Are you rocking in the jailhouse? Or
guys. So it's Saturday evening. It's like, I don't even know, almost 11 o'clock, I think. We're back at the hotel room after the lamb research work party, which you just saw the footage for. Really great party at Monterey Bay Aquarium. A lot of fun. My feet are killing me. <sighs> good people, good food. It was a good time. They gave us this huge book. huge book evidently that costs about $50 on Amazon anyway they gave each lamb and boy this it's really heavy anyway besides the party so it was a lot of fun to say thank you to their employees so anyway we're back at the hotel we're gonna try to get a good night's sleep and then we've got to get up in the morning and start some more stuff which will be in next week's vlog so i hope you've had a great day a great week you've enjoyed the vlog let me know if you have any questions comments or concerns or that i've forgotten to link something in the description let me know don't forget to like share and subscribe and above all go out and have a great week do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys <music>